Hello YouTube fans, here again. Now after doing the feedback to the Futsus, the same producer that worked with Steven Spielberg did this. This was like one day before Back to the Futsus 2. He did this one with the legendary Bob Austin's May Rest. That being who famed Wads of Rabbit. That's right, who famed Wads of Rabbit. Shot in 1988, an animated title mixed with film. Animated title mixed with film. Now, as we do know, we've already done that before with the Walt Disney classic, Mary Poppins. And in 1970, he did it again with an animated film, Gold, if I remember right there. What a baby. But this was the first time they did move that mixed with Tartu. It was a bit of a stiff bird, it was unique, it was one of them you do in your brain or, and it was a fancitor. It was a fancitor. So where can I go with it? So... It starts off like a Walt Disney cartoon. I mean, it was a fan city, and it starts off with the um, animated cartoon, I was about to say. So, in the animated cartoon, you got who found what's a rabbit, it's with this baby, the baby's playing up, and that's what happens. And then they say cut, and then it's movie mixed with cartoon. And it's a sort of like that, it was different and it was unique. Halfway through the film, though, Wads of Rabbit gets famed. I love the bit where he says, boop, 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 peace. I just love that all the way through. So you've got this one detective who's starting to believe he's innocent. You've got the tacit scene where he puts handcuffs on Bob Austin and he's going mad. He's almost battering one another. <laughs> so I thought I like that. I like them tootsies. You know what I mean? I like them tootsies. So it's definitely different. It was a different gnome than what you normally see an animated um Tartoons mixed with films. It was a different no. So where can I go with who famed Wads of Rabbit? So like I say, start with that, he gets famed and you meet one villain. If you think you've seen him before, think of Star Trek Fig, and that is the man himself, Jock. Because of the fame that the actor did when he did Back to the Future, so they had him play the villain in this. I remember the bit where he's melting his tartoon suit. Pretty um, sad scene <laughs> for the suit. And I also remember the car. I love the car. It's always accident and all that. But let's not forget, let's not forget the beautiful animated tattoo with the tins of woman with the tins of air. You know what I mean? There's bits where they're meeting tattoos and you've got some in black and white before they did colour. I thought sort I of like that little tuts. Uh, we meet Betty Boo, one of the tattoos. Remember Boo 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 Doo? And you meet the one with the, the, one with the tins of air. Normally I'm not a lover with women with jeans are there, they have a bad temper, but this one, you know, really sets, it sets it out here. And I always remember the iconic scene, there's a scene where they have an accident, right, I'll tell you that bit, take it away, they're in a the car, and the tattoo of what's a rabbit's woman goes spinning, and people say when she opens her legs, you start see cyan stone. Whether it was accidental or on purpose, it's a different story, but it's one of them you bring, you miss, so I didn't really thing you've an animated tattoon that much. So halfway through the detective being Bob Austin, he's trying to save the rabbit, you find out he's set up and then you've got the main villain. And I love the bit where he's fighting, you've got them two dogs what are test up and they look like dancers with dancer hats on. I thought I liked that talk. I felt it was dud, I felt it was brilliant, they're smoking them cigars. It was dud. So he outsmarts them, but for all that, for all that, he ends up in the Tartoon world. <laughs> I meant to say world. He ends up in the Tartoon world, putting it, it safely. And he's in Tartoon City. The only issue is he's in he's two Bob Austin's. I thought, wouldn't it have been good to do him Bob Austin's next stage to an animated Tartoon? Not like they did in Water Babies. But I know, I know, it's a different film, it's just me being nitpicky. I just felt, so if you see Bob Austin in the Tartoon world, why not turn him into a Tartoon? I get it, it didn't go that way, I just felt that's just me being nicker. There's one woman, he thinks it's that woman, it's a woman with big dummy teeth, it shits him up, and then he ends up in the normal world. And that's when he fights the villain. But I love the bit, he's fighting him, he gets splattered and he's steaming like a dirt. Bob Austin, that's a detective, gets fighting and he shits himself. <laughs> so I sort of like them little tootsies, I like them. So yeah, he's playing Rod the Rabbit, it was a 
bid it in 1988. It sold a lot and it made a lot of money. Back in that era, back in that era, everybody, I mean, everybody was like going, who fame was the rabbit mad? Who fame was the rabbit? And I let people into a secret. I let people into a secret. The actor that did the voice to What's a Rabbit. If you ever remember the original original Nightmare on Elm Street, the bit where Nancy's in the bed and you got a doctor talking to the mum and he's talking about sleep and feet patterns and all that. Well, the actor that played the doctor in that scene is only the same one but just the voice to What's a Rabbit. Interesting tip. So, like I say, the detective saves the day the rabbit gets back with his woman end of movie it's the end of movie where can i go with this you know what i mean it's definitely done it's out of place from the 1930s you know what i mean the 1930s and all that so you got that 1930s sort of style and you know it's sort of like that era when you know you had a set tips and it's based on the 30s, but it's mixed with the cartoon world. And I thought I like that. I mean, so they're making the town centre look like the 30s. But then they also are using animated cartoons. Like you've got Bus Bunny. You've got Wads of Rabbit. I just said Wads of Rabbit. I meant to say Bus Bunny. So you've got Mickey Mouse. You've got Bus Bunny. You've got Wads of Rabbit. You've got a new class of cartoons. And I just thought that was different. It was unique. It's, and I do know it sparked a lot of other films. You had one goal, remember right? They did have one, if I can remember the name of it. There was one with Jim Bassendor, and I think it had, um, if I can remember his name, Pad Pitt. So Pad Pitt and Jim Bassendor sort of did one called, um, I can't remember the name of it now, but it came out in the early 90s. I repeat myself again, it had Jim Bassendor, and it had a very long Pad Pitt. And they sort of used the idea a lot then where they tried to imitate Titan and the movie. And back then when I look at who fame was a rabbit, it kind of makes me miss those golden days of the animated cartoons. You know, whether it be Mickey Mouse, whether it be Bus Bunny, whether it be Tom and Jelly. Because back then cartoons, they were funny. They were funny. And I just think the film was tougher. It was mixed with animation, mixed with film. And when they did it, I thought, you can even go behind the scenes. There's bits where he's pretending with Bob Austin. He's talking to a piece of wood. They have to use a piece of wood. Move it across. Don't sort of get in real life. Animation mixed with film. So half the time when Bob Austin is doing his brilliant acting performance, he's actually talking to a piece of wood. <laughs> and I mean a piece of wood. So I thought that was quite funny, and then when um, the actor did the voice of boo 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 peas, what's a rabbit, he was, in, he was on set, nowhere near Bob Austin's doing his line. So basically they were barely near one another when they were doing the reel, so a bit of an interesting tip there. But yeah, we're going to go with who's playing what's a rabbit. Fuck it. A nine star rating for me, but into them, be smart, be safe, and I'll see you later.